Okay, so... Excuse me. Again. I was videoing, but I decided to... Let me do uh, the screen. I decided to go live instead of my just video. I was going to just video and just upload it to my YouTube, but I decided to go live. So I'm cooking stew peas. I wash the peas, put in the pot, season the pot with everything from um, that, a little bit of that, to what else me was? I'm going to use uh, Maggie. Maggie! Maggie, you know we Jamaicans like Maggie. I'm use that. So I use I don't use salt. Oh uh, yeah, I did use some salt. I use some pink Himalayan salt. This is my put it up. I use some pink Himalayan salt and pimento. Big woman like me just find out say, um, all spice is pimento. Like maybe a couple years ago, big girl woman like me will always cook. Because I used to get my pimento and ground it myself or whatever. Me never know said that name pimento. So I cook stew peas with pig no, you put pig tail, I'm gonna eat pork, but bright tea with turkey neck, smoked turkey neck, and um I'm also using chicken gizzard. Me use chicken gizzard. Because who knows me knows I don't eat. No meat, no red meat, no pork. So I bought them. I love stew peas for one. So I'm gonna buy the turkey neck. Your mother turkey said chicken gizzard. So chicken gizzard cheap. I'm buy chicken gizzard yesterday. And I'm gonna try it. Turkey neck that expensive either. So the turkey neck. So when I cook chicken gizzard, when I cook chicken neck, um, stew peas are some I use. So that's what I'm gonna use. So everything already cut up, so I'm going to just wash off the meat. I'm going to just buy meat and use it, so I'm going to wash it before. And the bad thing about all of this is, my pressure cooker broke. I'm going to dash away. So normally I'll put it in the um, the slow cooker, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to put everything in the pot and slow cook it. I clean, it's supposed to be clean, but you know, I have time to go and cook too. I rarely cook. Especially since I've been on a diet. And, oh, and I lost 23 pounds. So I rarely cook. So I'll take out summer. Summer, summer. Come on. I don't need, need to use everything. It's me alone. I cook for my son not here. In runway. So. Runway got a theme granny. So I'm going to take out what I'm going to use. And um, wash the meat. See? This is what Amer most Americans don't know. That's why I said, look there. So you have to wash and clean the meat. Watch the gizzard skin still up on there. Now I have to go worry about cleaning that off. So you have to wash and inspect everything. They're not all have it on there still in the butt. You know, we know for recognize it. Come, used to raise chicken. But my grandmother used to raise chicken growing up. So I know it has that extra skin on there so I always look for it because I remember once an American friend of mine was like I don't eat the gizzard because it has that thing that you can't chew not because it's supposed to come off so when I cook gizzard it melts in your mouth because I make it cook and cook and cook and cook and most of the time it's not the pressure cooker see take off the skin I wanna, skin I guess it's called I don't know I'm gonna take it off me alone, but even though it's me alone, my love soup is, I'm gonna want to take this one. make sure it have enough meat in it. Put some more gizzard. Wash it. I'm mean, gonna wash it. I know people, you don't wash meat with soap. I saw that somewhere where you wash me with soap. You don't wash the meat with soap. You wash your meat, you use some vinegar, not soap.
And normally I cut up everything a little bit finer than it's already cut, but like I said, I may look me a quick for so I'm in all of that extra work. Because I may look not go eat it. So I'm not stressed about nothing. Oh, can not those rip apart? That's good. And if it's ripping like that, I guess it's nice and tender. I just saw uh, um the chicken neck me I rip rip apart. Come on, I feel like I cut up not, not, not smaller. I never know said so till I rip easy. Can I rip easy man? So everything in other parts. Just a group some of them things that don't look a bit small. Even though let me say I may look my hope for something really fussy if it were bigger and I come me along and suck on it. So that's the turkey neck. Everything washing and some vinegar. For real, right? A six pack of hit um it would have been nice. But not today need more water because it's gonna slow cook and because it's gonna slow cook all of the water are gonna eventually evap so I'm gonna put in enough so I'm gonna have it constantly add water now I'm gonna put a piece of garlic in there so I have time to put in there I mean it's gonna have scallion but I'm gonna check so I'm gonna put scott, um, garlic scallion and thyme is the last three things I'm gonna put in there cover the pot and make it slow cook am I done if it was done cook now or next year me could not care less Yeah, just to make it slow because as I said, I'm not, I'm not um not pressure cooker no more. So I'm just make everything. I'm gonna take your time and do it. I'm not really force it in no hurry. And then I'm gonna clean up because I had some work done in my apartment. But Kylie needed to fix a one bag of foolish this. So the place is messy, bad, 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 bad. I mean, it's a bad of me. So I'm going to start by the living room because they took all my stuff, all my stuff I had in storage, and my storage closet, and I have it in the living room. So I started that. So I'm going to fix that. The bathroom, they took, put a brand new toilet in there yesterday, you know, the bathroom. So today, the only thing I have to do is put the mat then down in the bathroom, which is good. So these two, I'm gonna use the whole thing. So because I'll use them back together, I'm gonna just put them back together. Put in a separate bag. I don't like putting stuff in my fridge like that. Once I'm gonna use them, I'll put it in a bag. My allergies. So my grandma grab one thing. I'm gonna say eat that. So I'm gonna say this is the next batch of two pieces. That's all. No, I'm not the rice and peas. I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna pro probably do some quinoa. That's what I was thinking, cause my dip on a no carb diet. Not really diet, but I've been doing no carb lately, so I'm probably just do that. No carb. Oh, look what I did, guys. If you know me or my dad, you know we like juicing, right? So. I made carrot juices and I bought these Kiska Pop things offline off um I think I got it off Amazon last year. So what I do I make the carrot juice because I only drink carrot juice a certain way it has to be boiled and then put them in these and freeze them. So if I want something I'll just grab this and go. Very efficient. You should try it. Good evening, Miss Swiss White. How you doing? Ah, uh, that's it. Food I cook. Now stop boiling, but like I said, I'm gonna slow cook everything. The pot season for the most part. See? Pot season. I'm gonna um, put in the waiting in there now. Skellion. Thyme. Some skellion and some thyme and some um, 
garlic. I know I buy garlic, I just want to find it. I mean, I find it as some of use it too, so crush up garlic. the garlic but I have um minced garlic so I'm gonna use that come I love garlic I'm gonna find some old wilted um scallion rest in the fridge I've only got you knows all long but as we know scallion so just strip away now huh? I you good to go I only want a couple of stuff I'm gonna cook off it so that's my fault and the things that I got to waste I have the things that I got to waste. So, what I do with the skin, I want to peel it off, take out the dry up shit, um, the dried outside, which is like the trashy looking texture, which is dry, dry leaf, actually. So, I peel those off, cut off the bottom of it, which is like the rooty piece. For those who can't cook that, the rooty part of the scallion never come off. And we as Jamaicans, we cook almost everything with scallion, thyme, and garlic. <laughs> that is a staple food. Scallion, thyme, garlic, and habanero pepper. Your food always have that. So that's the last three things I'm putting in. Oh, pot starts. So like it one bubble already, I'm going to just put on the thyme. Oh, pot I go on. I'm gonna just put on, I'm not gonna stay with you guys the whole time while I cook, you know. I'm not stay the whole time while I cook, but you know. Because as I said, I'm gonna try it clean. I'm back at her, but I have to get some of these things out of my living room. It looks bad. Bad, bad, bad. The good thing I'm not gonna come in here because I swear my mother left me. The way my living room look horrible. So that's what I'm gonna do. Skelly and clean. And wash. My mother would have beat up the skelly and you know, beat it up. But that's what my so mother, my grandmother do. Beat up the skelly before they put it in the pot. I just crush it, just to most loosen up the flavors and put it in there. I love garlic, so like I said, when I find the old garlic, but I have mixed garlic. I'm gonna love garlic, so I'm gonna use a whole spoon of garlic. A whole spoon, come and love garlic, and garlic good for you. Butter boil already, you know. I know, say. So I stay there and go and boil. I wonder if I make it in a stew piece or if it's in a soup. Stew piece, because a stew piece, my mind depend from yesterday when I buy everything. So I make it stew piece. Me, um, you guys are quick prawns to the pot again. So, stew peas again. Hey, Tis! So the pot start bubble, everything I go slow cook, so I'm just put everything one time. I come on the piece of cook and I want the turkey neck for cook. So I'm going to make everything slow cook for a few hours actually, because this won't take a while. I never pre-prep. Normally for stew peas or rice and peas or pea soup or pre-prep, soak the peas and put in a pressure cooker. And <laughs> yes, this, you know me and my accent is never going to change. So... Um, yeah, I didn't pressure anything, didn't pre-prep, I just know this is what I wanted. I'm going to throw it on the stove normally. Um, rice and peas, stew peas, and, um, thing there. We pre-prep, I will soak the peas and pressure with a pressure and all of these things from night before. I never do none of that, so. Everything just in the one pot, I'm just going to slow cook it. Slow cook everything, and then I'm good to go. And good to go so that's my little stew piece pot going and believe it or not one of those some agreed you know but believe it or not and me alone i'm gonna name all of the stew peas them i love stew peas me we eat stew peas every day all day long it's one thing aside from bun and cheese is stew peas my love curry and my love stew peas so if you want to catch me bun and, bun and cheese curry 
and soupies and the sin of all sins that I'm not supposed to be eating seafood give me anything in the shell crab lobster you name it yeah well you can't catch me with them some of them them things that you can't catch me with me not me not deny it not deny it stuff a little garbage bag pick up them stuff them trash trash stuff I put it now so yeah I don't like to cook in a dirty kitchen so I'm just a straighten up back since I just made a small mess I just made a small mess so I'm gonna straighten up back because I hate cooking in a dirty kitchen because I cook, if I cook it and the kitchen dirty, when I'm done eat, I feel like I can't eat the food because the kitchen dirty and the food not taste good and the food not clean. So I have to cook in a, a clean kitchen. So everything is in the pot. I made a small mess doing all that prepping and stuff. So I'm going to clean up back. Then I'm going to, um, as usual, my food clean with music. So I'm going to turn on the music in the living room while I clean up the living room. Hey, Auntie Raquel. So yeah, I'm cooking. Auntie, my sexy auntie look at my pot, it's a bubble, you know who you want to see, watch out, pot of bubbles, steam, can't even see all the pot of bubble, pot of bubble, box cover, watch out, pot of bubble, I'm going to just put it on, some stew peas, I haven't had oxtail in years, taste, I know you could cook too, but I don't make ox, I don't eat red meat or pork anymore, so I haven't made oxtail in a while, I have not made ox in a while. This is just two peas with turkey neck, smoked turkey neck, and chicken gizzard. I use chicken gizzard because I don't eat beef anymore. I haven't had beef in about 15 years or more. Um, since I was pregnant with my son, I haven't had beef. So the chicken, the turk, the chicken gizzard represent the beef, and the turkey neck would represent the um the pigtail. I don't eat pigtail, so that's what I use. My ingredients is just anything grown, provision type seasoning like scallion, thyme, all those things. My, my friend from work, she planted some habanero peppers for me. So every time they um, think she carries some come. Because, you know, she know I like my habanero. So a white woman, too, you know, when a, when a white woman from work, she planted for me. And carry them come. Every, and, uh, she, oh, I have some habanero for you. I should did some jalapeno. I have jalapeno in the freezer. I don't do jalapeno, but I have an arrow. My son likes pepper, so. But that's here. Yeah. Pata bubble. Pata bubble, pata bubble, papa, pata bubble. So, yeah, I do know how to cook somewhat. My mother and my granny teach me how to cook, so I can cook. Soupies it is today. You know what is good for soupies, guys, who don't eat meat? Which I use a lot as well because I don't really, even though I eat the, the chicken and the, the chicken gizzard and I'll use the chicken gizzard to, to make it, I will um, use chunks, veggie chunks, which is, I think it's a soy base or a chickpea base, I don't remember, I think it's a soy base, soy base, veggie ingredient, they have one, one that's like a beef texture, one that's a chicken texture, whenever I use it. I soak it into a little bit of salt water so it can grab it can grab the taste. Veggie chunks come in like who eat um tofu. I like tofu. So veggie chunks will not come in like tofu where it takes the flavor of anything that you cook it with. That's what veggie chunks is. So I use veggie chunks sometimes to, to make my stew peas. Hi Auntie Marcy. Um I miss Yvonne. Hi cause Juanita. Um yeah. So I'm gonna use veggie chunks more while. Hey Clarissa. Yeah, um so the pot of bubble. Soupies are going bones. My fifth is soupies from yesterday, so I'm gonna stop on by. My keeper wants a pig tail, I'm gonna eat pork, you know. Turkey neck, smoked turkey neck, and um no man, this stuff I'm gonna turn on your know, because it's a bubble. I'm gonna turn it on make it go on. Slow cook. Yeah, anytime time you're slow cook. I don't know who else does that. When I'm slow cooking, I turn up the thing, make it boil first, and then I turn it down, and it's slow cooked. So it's it a boil then now. Oh shoot, I forget to put the time in there. But I can't put the time in there anytime still. If my, if my nose part it, I'm going to put with the time because it's in a separate container. But who ask me if I remember when I put the time? Because my know. Chef, come on, use it the other day. 
I'm gonna give him some other time for you. Oh, sweet job. I dry my time and put it in a separate container. Who else does that? That means I'm gonna get time from Jamaica or whether I'm a bite or not. Whether I'm a bite or not, I'll dry it and then I'll put it in a something. Like I'll probably I'll dry it in like a paper bag. And then I'll put it in whatever. And it depends on what I'm doing, if I'll use the stem or I'll just use the leaf. Right now, for this, I'm going to use the stem because I want all of, as much flavor as possible. You know, stew peas, and you want it well flavored and taste good and thing and thing like little things there. So, may I use the stem. Some things I'll just use just the leaf when I use the stem. But this, may I use the stem and, and the leaf. I'm going to do like a pick pick out stem thing still, you know. I'm gonna like, I, I, oh, I burn myself. I don't like to eat nothing. Yeah, I love stew peas. I don't eat nothing where I don't like to eat nothing. I have to do a lot of picking. I love fish, but not give me a bony bony fish because it changed my mind, my appetite, everything. I'm a can butter. You know, only thing. So, my fish stuff are nice and meaty and fleshy and thing and thing like that. So, I must say, I'm not staying with you guys long. I just wanted to let you see how I cook. And my ingredients, and that's it. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients, and that's it. See that? I'm to go and bubble the now. I'm gonna turn it down. <clears throat> the stove is on six right now. It's on six. I'm gonna turn it down. Make it cook for medium heat for a while. Then I'm gonna turn it for five or four. I make it slow cook for the for the next few hours. Come on, want the meat for tender? I want the piece to cook. <coughs> I'm mean, gonna like, you know how some people cook them stew peas and put a flour in it or whatever for it thicken it up. Oh, I'm gonna make some spin. No, I'm not making no spinners for carbs. I'm not doing carbs. I'm not making no spinners. So, what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna pop look outside. Let me get simple. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm not putting no spinners in there. But what I'm gonna do is when the peas them cook and soft out i take some of the peas and beat it up for thicken it up or i make it stay the thick up by itself may not add no some people add cornstarch or flour or whatever i don't add none of that i just you know i can do it one thing and keep it one chance give me just one chance i don't know my son's godfather calling so that's a perfect time for me to go guys i'll probably come back later um, I'm gonna listen to some music and clean. I'll call my son Godfather and then take it from there. We'll, we'll link, alright?